In this video, we are going to start off our course on differential calculus by learning the most basic form of differentiation. So the first thing I want to introduce you to is a general formula to calculate the derivative of a simple function. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to look at a function, y equals x to the power of n, where n is some natural number. So this could be y equals x to the power of 2, or 3, or 5, or 50, or any natural number then what we want is to find something called the derivative. And the notation for that is something called dy dx. dy over dx, and it looks like a fraction. It's not quite a fraction. It sometimes behaves like one, but it might help you to think of it as a fraction, even though that's not exactly what it is. And later on, on the higher level course, we will discuss exactly what it is and why this notation exists. But for the moment, all we need to know is that if we're given some function y, then what we want to find is the derivative, which is called dy dx. And the way to do that is you want to take the power of x, which in this case is n, and multiply by that number. And then we want to reduce the power of x by 1. So this is our general rule, our formula that we're going to use to calculate the derivative. And right now it looks quite complicated because there's lots of variables and there's lots of things that we don't really understand yet. But I think it's going to become a lot more apparent what I'm talking about when we go through a few examples. So let's start off with an example. Say we're given the function y equals x squared. And this is just a function. So every time I say y, it's just any old function. So it could be also written as f of x equals, in this case, x to the n. And then we could graph this function. And sometimes we will refer to it like this, and we'll use a different form of notation to talk about the derivative. But for the moment, we're going to stick to this notation, and we're going to stick to calling our function y in all cases, so that our derivative will be dy dx in all cases. So we're given our function y equals x squared, and we want to calculate the derivative of that. Well, the derivative, which is written as dy dx, is going to be equal to this if we multiply by the power and then reduce the power by 1. So in this case, we multiply by the power, and then we reduce the power by 1. So here the power is 2. So we multiply by 2, and then reduce the power by 1. So it was x to the power of 2. 2 minus 1 is 1. So we've reduced the power by 1, and we don't need to write 1, because anything to the power of 1 is just itself. So we're left with 2x. So when asked to differentiate x squared, the derivative is 2x. And this is the pattern that we're going to see every time. So we want to multiply by the power and reduce the power by 1. And we're going to do that every time at the beginning. All we want to remember is that we want to multiply by the power and reduce the power by 1. So let's do another example. So say we're given y equals x to the power of 3. Then to get the derivative, dy dx, what we want to do is we want to multiply by the power, which is 3, and then we want to reduce the power by 1, so 3 minus 1 is 2. So the derivative of y equals x cubed is dy dx equals 3x squared. Now let's try another one. Let's say if we have y equals x to the power of 5. Then to get the derivative, we want to multiply by the power, which is 5. And then we want to reduce the power by 1 down to 4. So again, we multiply by the power, and then we reduce the power by 1. So this is going to keep happening, and we just have to follow this pattern to find the derivative, which is denoted as dy over dx. So let's do another example. Let's say y equals x to the power of 20. Okay, well, the derivative of that, dy dx, will be equal to 20x to the power of 19. So what we're doing is we're multiplying by the power, and then we're reducing the power by 1. Again, let's try y equals x to the power of 17. Well, then dy dx will be equal to 17 
multiply by x to the power of 16. So we're multiplying by the power and reducing the power by 1. Let's do another example. So y equals x to the power of 24. Then dy dx will be given by multiplying by the power 24 and then reducing the power by 1 down to 23. So whenever we're given a function, y equals x to some power, then to find the derivative, all we have to do is multiply by that power and reduce the power by 1. And then we'll have this thing that we're calling the derivative. Now we're not going to worry about exactly what the derivative is right now, but we will come to that later. And on the higher level course, we will prove exactly why this formula works. But on the ordinary level course, you don't need to know why it works. You just need to know that it works. Okay, so let's keep going through examples right until the end of this video. So let's say y equals x. Okay, in that case, y is equal to x. Well, that's the same thing as saying x to the power of 1. So for this, we want to multiply by the power. That's 1. And then we want to reduce the power of x by 1. So 1 minus 1 is 0. So that's going to be equal to 1 multiplied by x to the power of 0, and any number to the power of 0 is equal to 1. So any number to the power of 0 is 1, so we're left with 1 multiplied by 1, which is just 1. So if y is equal to x, then dy dx is equal to 1. Next, let's try y is equal to x to the power of 74. Well, then to get dy, dx, we're going to multiply by the power, 74, and then reduce the power by 1 to 73. So hopefully you can see the pattern that we're following in every example. We always want to multiply by the power and reduce the power by 1, and that gives us the derivative. Now you don't even have to remember this formula here, because it is actually in your tables book. So if you take out your formula and tables book, which you will be allowed to have in the exam, and you turn to page 25, then we'll get to the calculus section. Over here we have some formulas that we're going to do later on the higher level course, but ordinary level students don't need to worry about them. And over here we have x to the power of n, and its derivative is nx to the power of n minus 1. So if you're having any trouble remembering it, you will be able to see this formula in the exam because if you're given x to the power of n, then the derivative will be nx to the power of n minus 1. And all that means is we multiply by the power and then reduce the power by 1. Okay, so I think we've done enough examples on that for the moment. We will revise this as we go, but we've done enough of those examples for now. And in the next video, we're going to look at, well, what happens if it's not y equals x to some power, but if we have y equals some multiple of x to some power. So we're going to learn how to deal with something like this instead of something like this.